What is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a mystery box opening. Not only one mystery box, but two. Let's get into it. Right, so here's our first mystery box. It is uh, rather large, can't really fit it on the camera screen. Um, it does look like someone drop kicked it during the delivery, um, but it's probably okay. And let's take a book a look at mystery box number two. Mystery box number two, little Amazon package. Um, we're gonna start off with the first one and then go to this second one. All right, all right. Mystery box number one, here we go. Um, I have no idea what could be inside this box, to be honest with you. Um, this was a gift from my mother for Father's Day. Shout out to mom. Thank you. Um, all I know is that it's got Pokemon in it. Something Pokemon. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got. All right. First glance. Oh, Jesus. Knock something over. First glance, I uh, see a tin. I'm gonna just set this off to the side here. We're gonna pull these items out. All right, so our first item is, ooh, a Vaporeon tin. Nice, okay. So we got one tin there. The second item, nice, a Flareon tin. Okay, okay, two tins so far. And the third item, oh, a Jolteon tin, nice. So we got all three um, tins. That is awesome. That was a great idea. Shout out again to mom. Great, great choice there, great choice there. All right, let's, uh, let's jump to these tins real quick. tins have been open. We got our packs here. Let's look at the pack selection. Each tin comes with four packs. So it looks like we got two packs of Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain, and Sword and Shield. It's going to be the same for all three, which is nice. We're going to leave these um, separate so we can compare the hit rates. Um, here are the code cards for the tins for you guys. I lost one of them somewhere in the destruction montage. Here's a quick glance at the beautiful promo cards that it comes with. There's the Flareon V Ultra Rare, the Vaporeon V Ultra Rare, and the Jolteon V Ultra Rare. And I actually didn't have these uh, all these promos in my collection, so it'll be a nice addition to the stack. All right, let's get started. First pack, Fusion Strike. What can we get out of here? There are um, some really nice alternate arts actually in the Fusion Strike set. Um, Mew is one of my favorite cards and I believe there's two alternate art Mew cards. Um, so in reality, that's what we're kind of going for. Let's zoom in here real quick for you guys. We got a Meowth, Dupider, Volibi, Choodle, a Reverse Vulpix, ooh, and an Appleton V. Nice. First pack, one hit. Not too shabby. All right, second pack of Fusion Strike. Let's see what we got here. Code card for you guys. Yeah, there, I mean, there's also in Fusion Strike a really nice Gengar alternate art um, where he's like, I, I don't remember exactly what it is. I'll I'll throw it up on screen so you guys can see the alternate art. Um, we got a Reverse Krogonk and an Electros, non-holographic. So our chances for the alternate arts in that tin are gone, but we still have two more tins 
Let's see what we can get here. Oh, green code card. Whoops. Spoiler alert. We'll just run through this pack real quick. Reverse Caitlyn and a Serena. Non-holographic. All right, last pack of the first 10. We got a Sword and Shield base set. Let's see what we can pull out of there. Something good. I haven't opened a lot of the Sword and Shield base set recently. Um, mostly been opening some of the newer sets, but uh, Sword and Shield base does have some beautiful cards in it. I'd like to pull some full art trainers out of here. Look at that cotton candy Galarian Ponyta. We got a Score Bunny, Silly Cobra, Yamper, Reverse by Sharp, and a Holographic Boltund. Nice. All right, that was the first 10 so far. One ultra rare. Let's jump into the second 10. Start out with the fusion strike again. Looks like the code cards flipped on these. It's like randomized in these 10s. Like you never know which way the, t the code card's gonna be facing, but oh well, not a big deal. Starting out with a fire energy. Diggersby, Graplot, Pangoro, Impidimp, Gufet. Sandshrew, Mudkip, Glossophere, Gumi, and a non-holographic Granbull. All right, nothing in that pack. Let's get into our second Fusion Strike pack. Let's see if we can pull some fire. Maybe, perhaps, possibly. Be really nice getting alternate art. It's been a while since I've pulled some good hits like that. I mean, we did pull the Rainbow Rare Mew and Mewtwo in one of our uh, recent videos, but I'm looking for some of that alternate art goodness. All right, we're getting into Chilling Rain. Good cards are in Chilling Rain. There are the alternate art birds, the birds. Um, so there's a chance of pulling those. I believe there's a Blaziken alternate art, a Golden Snorlax in this set. Um, all of those would be really nice. Um, I hunted for that Gold Snorlax for a while, but really, really tough pull rates for Chilling Rain. Um, Galarian Slowking, nice. And Malamar, non-holographic. Yeah, the Golden Snorlax is like really hard to pull. Like really hard to pull, you know what I'm saying? But eventually, maybe we'll get it. Who knows? Chilling Rain is not out of print yet i don't think it's out of print yet not quite so there's still plenty of chilling rain available so there's always chances to get the the golden the snorlax so here we are with our sword and shield base set with a galarian mouth score bunny synesty pal pad and a non-holographic raichu that card is still dope maybe i'll save that one for uh, my girl to do a paint over my girl has uh, been doing like custom paints on Pokemon cards, it's just pretty cool. She takes the card, covers the Pokemon, paints over the rest of the card, and then uh, does like a custom like background scenery. It's pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll upload a short with uh, some of the cards she's done. I believe she's done a Charmander and a Vulpix, um, but there's a few more that she's going to be working on. All right, we got a Totodile, Toxel, a Snom, ooh, and a Cinderace, VMAX. Nice. VMAX, we'll take that. We'll take that. That's, uh, that's better than a V. So we'll definitely, we'll definitely take that. Fusion Strike giving us some spare change. All right, last pack of Fusion Strike. And then we'll get into the Chilling Rain and the Sword Shield Base. And that is it for the first mystery box. What a good mystery box, though. Um, gotta admit, the promos were pretty amazing. And we got hits, too. Reverse Growlithe and a Toxicroak. All right. On to the Chilling Rain. Let's see if we can uh, finish this off with another hit. Four from the back. That's the uh, card trick there for you. We got Weeding Gloves, Echoing Horn, Willipede, Sneasel, Weedle, Farfetched, 
Cast Form, Larvesta, Reverse Crab Brawler, and a Passamian Non Holographic. All right. Sword and Shield base set. Final pack of the tins. And then we will get into the second mystery box. Find out what's inside there. Four from the back. Water Energy. Drizzle. Slazzle. Cuvent. Baltoy. Chinchow. Slizipede. Galarian Zigzagoon. Zig Zigzagoon. Uh, Pincurchin. Don't want to step on that. And a Cloister Non-Holographic. You don't want to step on that either. But let's be honest. Who likes even going in the ocean? You're just asking to get eaten by a Sharpedo or step on some kind of poisonous thing. All right, cool. So on to the second mystery box item, which is packaged in this Amazon box. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, nice. Was not expecting this. Box off to the side. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me let me remove something off it so you guys can see it better. Un momento, por favor. All right. And she knew I needed this for my collection. We got ourselves a diamond Eevee Funko Pop. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Let me zoom out here a little bit so you can get a better look at it. All right, so this is the Diamond Eevee Funko Pop. Beautiful, glittery. I have the Diamond Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon. I just needed the Eevee. So this completes my collection. What an awesome mystery box opening. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the content in today's mystery box opening, please leave a like and comment and subscribe, please. It helps a lot for the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, to push my videos out. So please leave a like and comment. Tell me if you like the mystery box. Which item did you like the best? Which tin did you like the best? And as always, guys, thank you. Appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.